Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. This is Matt Bowler. Hey, superstars. Hi, superstars. Hi, superstars. Hi, superstars. Hey, superstars. Now you want me to say hey, superstars? Yeah. Hey, superstars. All right, that's better. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars. Hey, superstar. Hey, superstar. What's up, superstar? Hey, superstars. Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott, and welcome to our obligatory 2024 national recap video. Um, it was quite a week, and it took me almost an entire week to recover from all the excitement, but I'm feeling better now. Um, I've got a lot to cover, so let's get into it. Tuesday morning, I got to go to my favorite butcher and then do a little meat shopping. I love meat uh, for the guys at the Airbnb. And then uh, Jake and the Drew, they drove up that day. And that evening, we had dinner at Swenson's Drive-In. And then Jake got us great seats for the Guardians game. And then after the game, we went back to my place and we found Four Leaf. And he was talking Mrs. Reindeer's ear off. So sorry, babe. On Wednesday morning, uh, Jake and the Drew accompanied me to pick up Rick from Vintage Oddball Cards and everybody's favorite Hawaiian Dylan from the airport. Um, the Airbnb wasn't open yet and neither was the National, so we hung out at my place until it was time to pick up Picker Jim from the airport. Um, and then we got our VIP, VIP badges and uh, we had lunch before the VIP party where I snagged Doc Gooden's autograph. Uh, the line was pretty long for that, but it's always fun to meet Doc. And uh, that evening at the Airbnb, that's when uh, Four Leaf made us the uh, steak and salmon dinner with the caviar and some stupid vegetables. On Thursday, Four Leaf and I met up with three of the four collectors and we presented a check to Signatures for Soldiers, so that was really great. After that, I picked up Jason, aka Mr. Fisherbike, and Mike from Sticks and Seams from the airport, and then I drove them to the show, and then I immediately left there and I went back to my house to pick up the vending machine because a lot of people were asking if I was bringing it to the show. Um, and then I drove back, I picked up Mike and Jason at the show, and they helped me set up. Um, shop at the YouTube Hangout. Uh, that was a blast hanging out with everybody. I sold a ton of t-shirts and uh, the vending machine uh, was fed a lot of quarters that night. So on Friday, Mrs. Reindeer and my son Milo, they came up to hang out and uh, Milo scoured the floor for Pokemon cards while Mrs. Reindeer, she walked the floor with me and then she got to meet a bunch of my best friends. So that was really cool. Um, that night, Don and I, uh, we ditched the Misfit crew at the house and then we went to Ash's party at the Aviator for some all you can eat barbecue. It was so good. And uh, then we got to hang out with uh, a bunch of the guys from the CPAP house. On Saturday, I walked the floor with uh, Alex from Bowman 53 and Jason from Everyday Card Collector for a bit. And then we grabbed Dylan and we had lunch at Swenson's again. Uh, Dylan paid for my food because he's awesome and he says that I live in a third world country because everything is so dirt cheap. And uh, that evening, I helped Four Leaf uh, make some Polish boys for the guys at the house. Um, I'm sure I did other stuff that day, but I just can't remember. Like All my memories, they revolve around food. On Sunday morning, I took Dylan to the airport and then I grabbed some donuts for the guys back at the house and then I went back to help pack up. When that was done, I took Jason and Mike and Jim um, to the airport and then I went back to the show for some last minute bargain shopping until uh, George from Diamond Yard Sports Cards and Rick were ready to go to the airport. After I dropped them off, I grabbed some a uh, couple of meatball subs, seafood again, and uh, I met Four Leaf back at my house for some dinner before he had to head home. My thoughts on the National. Overall, um, really going into it, I, I didn't have much of a card plan. I've been to enough of these now to know that it's not so much about the cards as it is uh, hanging out with all my besties. And uh, I did a lot of taxing people around uh, because I have a van and a lot of these guys, they travel across the country to hang out and have a good time in Ohio. And I appreciate that. Um, I try to be a good host and I was more than happy to do that. Um, all the National 
Cardinals are fun, and I know I'm biased towards Cleveland, but I actually prefer the non-Chicago Nationals because it's it's more fun to stay in an Airbnb with a bunch of guys um, than to be kind of isolated in a hotel room after hours because everything is closed. So we did not experience any of the long lines of traffic getting into the show or leaving the show because we showed up late and we left early every day. Um, I never bought any food at the show, so I didn't experience those lines either, nor did I ever have to use the restroom while I was there. Um, adult diapers are the best. Um, I really love the layout of the show floor with all the corporate kind of on the edges. And uh, I love seeing my t-shirts everywhere. That was amazing. They were everywhere and they were all over the show. They were all over the YouTube videos. And um, that just blows my mind that uh, I have so much support in this community and I am truly, truly grateful. But uh, enough yapping, let's see some cards. Hey y'all, it's me, Don Mossy. Uh, I was blessing Scott with my presence a little bit this week, and I would have liked to meet more of you fine people, uh, but Scott stuffed me in a bag for most of the week and then forgot about me. Friggin' jerk. Anywho, uh, we made some YouTuber shorts, and you can go check those out if you'd like. Uh, I got to meet some of you fine people, and then uh, a lot of you even showered me with gifts, which is awesome. I bought this uh, beautiful 66 from Stan's Vintage Baseball Cards. It was priced way too low, and I was kind of offended by that. Uh, James from Elite Hunters, he gave me this very rare 1961 7-11 card. That one's sweet. Uh, here's a 61 post from Jake at Legends Never Die. Here's another 61 post someone gave me, but uh, maybe I was doing too many jello shots with Picker Jim, and I forgot who gave it to me. Uh, my sincerest apologies there. Uh, my man Dom at Staven Sports Cards, he gave me this 66. Uh, best card ever, and uh, Dom's a good dude for sure. And then this here beauty is from Picker Jim. I signed it even. Great card. Uh, thanks, Jim. And then Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards, he really hooked me up. We got this uh, sweet signed postcard. I'm so handsome. And uh, this one's pretty good. Action Don right there. And then there's this big fella. Let's uh, get the whole thing in the shot there. All right. Thank you, Rick. Uh, all of these are just awesome. So uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Don. And if you think my man Don was spoiled, wait till you see all the stuff that my best friends gave me throughout the week. Completely bonkers. Uh, from the Drew, I got his card stands that you've seen all over YouTube. These are fantastic, and I am so excited to finally get my hands on some. Milo already stole one of them. Uh, the Drew also gave me this Tyler Freeman autograph, and the Drew's daughter made this for me, and I love it. It says, Dear Scott, you draw super well and have inspired me to draw better. I drew this twice, and I messed up on this one, but I still hope you like both of them. Have an awesome time at the National. I know my dad will. The Lil Drew, P.S. I'm on team, don't eat the gum. And on the other side, there's me. I love it, love it, love it, the Lil Drew. I'm hanging this one up in my studio. Thank you so much. This is the Surfer Ted card that I gave Dylan at the last national, and now he's gifting it back to me, which normally I'd be kind of offended, but uh, this is the card that Dylan taped to his surfboard, and he took it for a ride, which was insanely awesome, and I'm very proud to have this one back. Uh, thank you, Dylan. This one means a lot, man. I love it. These are some autograph cards that Eddie was selling, and I claimed them, but then Eddie wouldn't let me pay for them. What a jerk. Uh, we got Shane Bieber, Dr. Styx, Juan Gon, Larry Barnett, who umpired the last game at Cleveland Stadium, and Tyler Freeman. Uh, thank you, Eddie. Uh, you're, you're not really a jerk, buddy. Here is a cool custom from TJ is Online. I love the 77 design. Very cool, Tony. Thank you. These are from Matty Ice, who stopped by and said hi at the YouTuber Hangout on Thursday. We have a Stadium Club Eddie Murray. That one's a short print. Uh, Tommy and Manny, David Justice, Shuey, Jack Morris, Phil Necro, Bob Lemon, Joe Carter, Kenny Lofton, Shane Bieber, Eli Morgan, Jose Bieber, and a Nolan Jones rookie card. Awesome, Matt. Thank you, sir. I saw my man Hammer44 on the show floor and he gifted me one of his custom slabs with a platinum anniversary feller that he pulled from a pack. Very, very thoughtful. You know I love that one. Thank you, Hammer. 
The legend of Four Leaf lives on. This Alvaro autograph was waiting for me at the Airbnb in my gift bag. And there was another one, too, that I forgot to film because I'm a dummy. Uh, everyone in the house got a Mattingly rookie, and there were prizes given away after some games that Four Leaf was playing. Uh, I did not win any of them, but they ended up in my hands anyway. Here's a Bob Lemon autograph, a Lou Boudreau autograph, and a Bob Feller autograph, number to five. And uh, Four Leaf is the best. Thanks, buddy. These are from Jason at Everyday Card Collector. Very nice sticker. Jose Ramirez and uh, this die cut Bob Feller. And uh, Don Mossy may be mad at Jason for ditching him on Sunday, but I'm certainly not. Uh, thank you, Jason. These are from Sammy Thunder, and we got a cool sticker, an Indian's decal, and his super cool 91 Fleer Custom. Bold choice, my man. And uh, Sammy also gifted me this Ray Fossey autograph, which has a lot of sentimental meaning to me. So uh, thank you, Sammy. These are from my man Joe at Four Soft Corners. We got a 76 team card with Frank Robinson. We have uh, Nick Swisher short print, Josh Naylor rookie. There's Rokio, Dr. Sticks, Pronk, Super Joe, Feller, Feller, Early Win, Lou Boudreau, uh, Bob Levin, Larry Doby, Jim Tomey, Luis Lugo, number to 50. There's a Drew Stubbs camo, number to 99. Uh, here's a Jason Kipnis Emerald. Chris Perez die cut, Feller and Boudreau, uh, Gold Michael Brantley, and a custom Satchel Page card from Cigar Box Cards, who I actually met up with at the show on the same day that Joe gave me these, so that was pretty neat. Uh, thanks, Joe. You're too kind, sir. These are from Iconic Al. Um, I helped him with his customs. This was all his idea, but I laid them out for him and then I printed them and then he aged them and they came out fantastic. He gave me number 100 and I love it. Uh, Al also gave me an Al Rosen autograph and the most iconic player ever, Jim Tomey. And also this uh, red man, Larry Doby, which had been on my list for a long, long time. I just love that purple. Uh, that's a great card. Thank you, Al. These are very, very awesome. Just like you, man. Mangini gifted me this Project 2020 Mike Trout by Natural. Very cool to own a card from the Mangini collection. Uh, so thank you, John. These are from a new best friend named Mike. Mike's an Orioles fan, so he was excited to gift me this Willie Kirkland Orioles card with a Cleveland uniform. And I'm excited to own it, honestly. And the uh, 64 Mudcat Grant, I just love that card. Uh, 61 Jim Perry, Walt Bond. Omar Vizquel, and a post Jim Perry. Uh, thanks, Mike. It was great chatting with you for a little bit. From one Mike to another, these are from the Vintage Composer. Mike gifted me a Deckle Edge Louis Tiant, a 56 Early Win. That's a great card. I love it. A uh, Bowman Platinum Jose Ramirez. There's a Heritage James Karinczak. And Mike signed this 90 Tops Robin Yount for me. Uh, beautiful cards, Mike. Thank you, sir. These are from Jason, also known as Mr. Fisherbike. Jason gifted me an Eddie Rosario, Bob Feller, Ralph Kiner, 69 Louis Tiant, uh, Jim Tomey, Bo Naylor, Big Brother Josh, uh, Will Brennan, Gio Urshela's first Bowman, uh, SpongeBob, Sudden Sam, Manny Being Manny, early numbered to 99, and a super sweet Gaylord Perry autograph. Very, very cool, Jason. Thanks, bestie. These are from my man Picker Jim. Jim gave me a bunch of autograph cards. There's Tom Candiotti, Rick Waits, Ron Pruitt, Ron Kittle, and Glenn Allen Hill. These are awesome, Jim. Thank you, sir. These are from uh, Mike at Sticks and Seams. Fantastic getting to hang out with Mike a little bit this week. He gifted me a Jose Ramirez, Jose Ramirez Red Foil. There's Larry Doby, Stephen Kwan, Emmanuel Classe, Tanner Bybee, Jose Ramirez, Stephen Kwan, Gabriel Arias, Andre Semenez, Manny Ramirez, Julio Franco, Jose Ramirez, and uh, Mike adorned this Griffey card, and I love that. And then Mike also found this Andrew Miller for me, and this happens to be a one of one. So that is super cool. I love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Mike. And this one's from my man, Ruben. Ruben handed me these uh, 67 Tops posters. We got Wags and Sudden Sam, and I know I didn't have either of these, so thank you, Ruben. These are very rad. John, Wade Boggs fan, always gives out fun customs featuring his best buddy, Wade Boggs. And this one's no exception. I love it, John. Thank you, sir. 
These were gifted to me by your friend and mine, Mookie Chilson. Mookie gave me this very fun mini pennant. I love that. And then he gave me this uncut Cracker Jack sheet. I had been wanting one of these. I have the Doby and I have the Feller. I always thought it would be neat to have the whole sheet. Uh, Mookie read my mind on that one. But wait, there's more. Mookie also gifted me some exhibits. There's uh, Luke Easter, Jim Hegan, and Ken Keltner. And all of these have proper pinholes. And what good is a pinhole without some Graphco map tacks? I am all set. Uh, thanks, Mookie. I'm very, very excited about these. My man George at Diamond Yard Sports Cards is always very generous with the gifts. Way too generous, but I'm not complaining. Uh, George gave me this General Electric TV ad signed by Bob Feller. That one's really fun. And then he gave me this newspaper with articles about Frank Robinson becoming the first black manager and Hank Aaron's final game. And then George also gave me this Kenny Lofton autograph. Kenny's auto is usually pretty lazy most of the time. It's just KL, but this one's pretty nice. And then when George was a little tipsy one night, he gave me this Larry Doby bat relic featuring Jackie too. Uh, very cool stuff from George. Thank you, sir. Last one. I told you these gifts were bonkers. Uh, this piece is from Rick at Vintage Oddball Cards. It's a Type 2 Bob Feller photo. It is super, super awesome and way too kind to Rick. I love that image. I am more than excited to add this one to the collection. Look at that. It's so cool. Thank you, Rick. There was a little card show going on. I didn't forget about that. And I did manage to score a few things this week. I went in with two tougher targets. And on day one, I found one of them. This uh, Wilson Franks Bob Feller. I have wanted this one for years. And I'd only ever seen one for sale before. But I saw three within the first hour of the show. And I snatched this one up. Really, really happy to finally own this card. Um, and then I bought this uh, 48 Exhibit Indians team card from Don. This is another one that's been on my radar for a while. Um, Don gave me a really nice price on it, and I'm very excited that it came from him. And I love this team, and I love this story, and I'm very happy to have this card. Next, I picked up an American Carmel, uh, Carl Mays, a Yankee card. Gross, right? Uh, Carl Mays is the pitcher that killed Ray Chapman with a pitch in 1920. Uh, really hard to find Ray Chapman cards, but this is a big part of that story, too. And then here's an American Carmel, George Burns. Uh, Georgie here was a heck of a player. He won the MVP while playing for the Indians in 1926. So I was uh, happy to find a card for him. I also picked up this press photo showing Satchel Paige signing his contract with Bill Veck and the St. Louis Browns in 1951. I thought that was pretty fun. Um, I actually went two days without buying anything, but then on Sunday I had some fun. I picked up some Manco cards from Robert at Prestige Collectibles, and this one's my favorite, Fine Play. And these, and uh, Robert knowing that I love the art on these, he sold me this book. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this one. Here's uh, Babe Ruth and Ted Williams, Stan Musial, and a few different DiMaggio cards there. I'm really excited to dig deeper into this. Then I picked up some stuff for some team sets, which is not really super exciting, but here's a 63 Fleer Jerry Kindle, Dick Donovan, and a 60 Lou Boudreaux. All well-centered because I spent a lot of time with Dylan over the week. A sharp 52 tops Barney McCoskey, semi-high number. A 53 Bowman black and white Joe Tipton. I did not have any of the black and whites yet. And a dandy Luke Easter in really nice shape for a potato chip card. And finally, one of my favorite pickups is this lobby card. Uh, the Kid from Cleveland is a movie, and I've talked about it before. It takes place in 1949, the year after the Indians win the World Series, and uh, this orphan kid sort of latches onto the team. And honestly, it's not a good movie, but it's got all these great players in it. There's Bob Feller, you have Larry Doby, Lou Boudreaux, who had famously bad ankles, and he's wrapping his foot right there. Uh, there's Jim Hegan, and that's Mickey Vernon back there. Um, this one is signed by Larry Doby, so that's extra cool. Oh, and uh, that's Bill Veck right there. Satchel Page is in the movie and Tris Speaker. So yeah, this piece is perfect in my collection, and I'm so happy to have found it. Um, I was telling Rick and George about this movie earlier in the week, so they got a kick out of it too. So uh, yeah, those are my pickups, and that was my national. And uh, not to end on a down note, but uh, let's talk about regrets a little bit. I had such a great week, but the number one thing that uh, bothers me about the National, um, 
especially over the last couple of years, is that I don't get to spend enough quality time with people. Um, there's just not enough hours in the day, and I certainly tried, but it really is impossible. Um, you may have noticed that my superstar montage at the end of this video was a little weak this year, and it was simply because I kind of forgot. I was having too much fun, you know? Um, I, I usually do a lot of that at the YouTuber Hangout, uh, but this year I was selling, 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 and it was it was really hard to get away and uh, bug people for that. And I, I definitely wanted to do more with the Don Mossy puppet, um, but again, I was having too much fun, and I, it, it was hard to remember to pull him out and you know play with that. But um, also, it was kind of hard to film him on the show floor because it was so loud. So I have to figure that one out. Um, and the the last thing was my customs. I printed out a bunch of customs, and as I do every year, and I felt like I gave away very few. So I apologize. That one's on me. Um, if you were at the show and you didn't get some, or even if you weren't at the show, uh, please let me know, and then we'll see if we can try to get some of those in your mailbox real soon. So that's it, I guess. Uh, thanks to everyone who made this national so special for me. You know, it is my home national, and I'm kind of getting the vibe that it may never come back to Cleveland, which um, would be kind of sad. Uh, I, a lot of people were very negative about the whole thing, but I had a great time, and so did most of the people that I was hanging out with. I guess we'll see. Um, thanks so much for watching. I still owe you a, a monthly recap, and I've got plenty of art videos coming. So in the meantime, go find a better video to watch, and we'll see you real soon.